<laughs> Tango and a Benz AKA. Yo, what's up? We on set here. Well, my backyard. <laughs> I'm with Benz. So we're testing out this beautiful setup that you guys see over here. This is the 85 with the ESCO anamorphic adapter. And it's got a single focus unit on the front. This, this thing here. So it just helps you to focus on only one lens instead of focusing on the lens and the adapter. And it's on the FX3 as always. It looks amazing to be honest. Like check out the footage thing. It looks Ooh. like a cinema camera when it's all rigged up. Well, it is a cinema camera. It is a cinema camera. It looks like a monster. So yeah, <laughs> this is the setup. Simple, easy, chilled, perfect for a shoot. I think it performs best if you put it like on a balanced thing, like a tripod. I'm using a 501. Ben's busy taking photos. With my new iPhone 13. Yes, with his new iPhone. This is the anamorphic setup. So check out the footage. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's pretty sweet. It's pretty dandy. It's clean. It does the vibes. So we chose to shoot uh, AKA's army song. It's a just really so dope song. We're just doing it just to test what the lens looks like. I think it's pretty dope. So yeah. We used it on a few videos in the past. We actually haven't used it on the Sony yet. This is the first time we're using it on the Sony now. And I think it looks really good. FX3 is really holds up pretty well. But what I've come to notice is that you must just light it properly. Like if you light the scene properly and all that, everything is balanced. Your shots are gonna look nice. Let's shoot some handheld stuff and see. Maybe 100 frames so that we can add it in there. Let's go. This is the raw footage from the camera. So it comes in like this. And then when you put an anamorphic squeeze, that's what happens. So this is actually not just cropping. The footage is shot wide and stretched because the lens is kind of like oval. And then when you de-squeeze it in post, it becomes the frame that you see now. This is actually not just cropping. That's the actual picture from the camera becoming what you see on the screen. That's how anamorphic works. It's not necessarily cropping. It's the actual lens shooting in such a way that when you de-squeeze it it becomes this aspect ratio that you see on the screen which is known as two three five this is the same aspect ratio that you see in old school movies that's what they used back then so they actually used anamorphic lenses to make it into this picture and anamorphic lenses are just beautiful that's all i have to say yo this is a big heavy setup it's big and heavy not too heavy you can still handle it. Like, see, you can walk like that. And then, maybe we need an easy rig, eh? Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. If we get an easy rig with this, it'll be perfect. But yeah, the results look amazing. Yeah, it looks awesome. Thank you, Sony. Sebo, 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 Sebo,